Uh, hi, everyone. Hi. Welcome to June 10th. Are you ready? It's worksheets for students. Here we go. I'm sitting at the table downstairs today, everybody. And are you ready? Let me just get these organized. What a super neat craft today, too. I'm going to show that to you, too. Okay, you guys. Here it is. Are you ready? Let's organize the crafts here a little bit. And three, two, one, zero. Whew. Look at that. It's all about fruits and vegetables. Let's talk about the craft first, you guys. Look at this one here. This is really neat. So look inside, you have fruits and you have vegetables and grains. Fruits, vegetables, and grains. That's right, fruits, a banana is a fruit, a carrot is a vegetable, rice is a grain. So we're talking a little bit about grains as well today, but mainly focusing on fruits and vegetables. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna change my angle, sit like this. So you can see the beautiful outside, the very hot day today, 32 degrees today, you guys, wow. Make sure to, oops. make sure to drink your water. Make sure to come to school with a full water bottle too, please. <laughs> okay, here you go. This is number one, ready? Here we go, number one. Here, very, very simple, right? Just gonna center it a little bit. You have F, 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 it's F, F, F. We put the U after it so we can really make sure that we can hear your pronunciation. Okay, you guys? F, F, F. And notice it only takes up some of the basket. Worksheets always connect to the craft. And in the craft, can you find the fruits? The one that starts with F, that's right, it's right over here. F for fruits, F for fruits. It's f f f fruits. Move on to number two here. Can I get to it, can I get to it? There it is. Number two, here it is. Number two, it's all about vegetables here, vegetables. It's v v v vegetables. That's right, we put the U after this as well when we're making the sound, just to make sure we can help you with your pronunciation. V, v, v. And here, can you find the one that starts with the V? The v? Is it fruits? Is it vegetables? Or is it grains? That's right, it's vegetables in the middle there, vegetables. In our little basket here, isn't that neat? Quite brilliant. All right, and here, that's number two, you guys. Let's go a little bit quicker, moving on to the num number three here. Okay, number three, you can see, we're just putting our fruits inside of the, the area. So there's foot for fruits, banana is a fruit, grapes are a fruit. We say grapes automatically because it's a little bit hard to find a single grape picture that's easy to understand. One single grape could look like a single blueberry, could look like a boysenberry, all kinds of things. So when you put them together, it's very easy to understand. So we don't say grape, we say grapes. More than one. Okay, here we are, now we're into V, we're into vegetables. Vegetables, a carrot is a vegetable, broccoli is a vegetable. Broccoli also has that same same quality as grapes. Uh oh, upside down here, hang on. Here we are, this is number five. In my basket, I can see fruits and vegetables, you guys. Can you find the word fruits? Where is fruits? Fruits. That's right, here it is, fruits. You can just copy. F-R-U-I-T-S. F-R-U-I-T-S. Fruits and vegetables. And don't forget. Okay, let's move on. Oh no, dry fingers are going to delay the process here. Oh, Greg with those dry fingers. Jeez, what happens with that? It should be the opposite. It should be wet fingers today. It's so hot outside, right guys? Here, I'm gonna hold like this. This is number six. Can you see? Really, I'm gonna go a little bit faster. You see the Cambridge mark up here in the corner. It means that yes, the essence of some of these worksheets will show up in the upcoming 
internationally accredited Cambridge test that we're, held, that we're holding here in August. So get ready. Okay, it says, my mom and I will buy six... V Careful, uh, should we show upstairs? My mom and I will buy six v vegetables, that's right. And how many fruits? So here you have to add them up, you guys. Add up how many fruits and how many vegetables. Then over here, try and answer it. Remember, six or less is a small car. Seven or more is a big car. And so what does the instruction say? Draw a small and big car on the back, then circle the car you need. Okay, you guys? Oh, I see the bus outside. Oh, special delivery, important students. Okay, here we go. This is number seven. Number seven, in the basket, I can see four fruits on the left and eight vegetables on the right. So here you have to fold this paper. You have to fold that. I'm not gonna do it here because it's going to ruin this work. So you have to fold a copy. So you have to fold it like this. And then on the left, on the left, you want to do four fruits. On the right, eight vegetables. And which fruits will you pick? I don't know. Which vegetables will you pick? I don't know. Okay, it's up to you guys, up to you. Let's see what you can come up with. Okay, here is number eight. I'm gonna go a little bit quicker here. Number eight. Number eight says, this is two of two, so it connects to the other one. If six or less items means I need to use a small car to carry them home, I will need, well, wait a minute. How many items were in worksheet number seven? Four fruits on the left, eight vegetables on the right. The right. Four plus eight equals, Mariko? Four, four plus eight? Four plus eight is 12. Oh my goodness, is that more or less than six, you guys? More or less than six? That's right, it's more than six. So, if six or less items means I need to use a small car to carry them home, I will need a big car to carry them home because I have 12 items. I'll help you with that sentence. And on the back you can, on the back you can draw the car size that you need. Here's number nine, you have to listen to Greg, it's a listening test, and yes, there is addition involved, my goodness. Over here when you're done, what, what kind of car do you need? A big or small car? And why do you need it? Because they are too light or too heavy? Too light means six items or less. Too heavy, seven items or more. You see how complicated it gets? Isn't it amazing? I know, you guys. I know. This is great. This is just today. Wait till you see tomorrow's worksheets. I know. Love it. It's like the cornerstone. It's the baseline of our school where all teacher groups start from. The worksheets are our goal every day. We want the kids, by the time they sit down, we want them to be able to... Can you turn the light on, actually, the middle light? Uh, just the light on, just the light, yeah, thanks. Um, so by the time the kids go home, we want them to be able to understand what they're looking at with the worksheets. It's very important. Okay? Soma, you can, you can color up a craft, I think, so we're a bit early for snack time, so go ahead, Soma. Go ahead. No problem, yeah, he can just... He, he can color away a little bit of... Everyone wants to build those baskets, I think. Holy cow, great with those lines. Look at that, it's really something. Okay, this is number 10. Number 10, I am a safe shopper. Safe shopper means you don't want to buy the wrong things. Let's ask our friend Soma. Hi, Soma. Hi. Soma, Soma you tell me if it's okay or not okay, Soma. How about a yellow banana? Is that okay to buy? Yes. Yes, how about a black carrot? No. How about, uh, how about, uh, how about red grapes? No. No. How about purple apples? No. No. So with this one here, we have to circle the fruits that you can, fruits and vegetables that you can buy. And then here you want to list them out. It's very challenging, but of course it is number 10. You want to try to get the number 10 today, Soma? I think we can do it. Such a good boy, this one over here. Okay, that's it, everyone. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow. Get ready for tomorrow's worksheets. They're a doozy, as they say. All right. I'll see you later, you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.